Welcome everybody to another trade video. I'm your market analyst Evan Karlberg. So we're going to be having a look at the DAX. So DAX is of course the German, the German index um, that is commonly traded or used to track um, the large German companies. And what we've seen recently is a resurgence in the DAX and a potential buy signal that could be a really positive sign heading it towards the end of the year and to the start of 2023. So with, this is a purely technical um, chart, although it is important to remember that the EU is this week meeting to decide the cash rate or interest rate changes that should affect both the euro and most likely the indices that are in Europe, including the DAX. So that we just need to do, we do need to bear that in mind as we have a look at the chart. Although moving over to the weekly chart and what we can see, we're really using the weekly chart to really just get our support and resistance lines and our long-term support and resistance lines. It's got our all-time highs at 16. Let's just make this a little bit clearer and we'll make this a little bit bigger. We've got our all-time high at 16,393 um, or just, just below that or maybe it's 16, 16,343 rather. Maybe it's a little bit below, more like, anyways, 16 there and then our Longer term supports um, are at 12,340. And then we've got a lot of chop really since um, after COVID, but we've got a really relatively strong support about 13,895. Um, and that's kind of where we sit at the moment. And it's important to see that we've basically fallen below this 200 week average a couple of times, but always bounced back up. Over here we've bounced, and in the last couple of months we've bounced as well. And interestingly enough, we've actually broken through this 50-week moving average, which is that kind of mid-term um, resistance or support level, that really good mean for us to get a good measure. So that's a really good sign so far. Now, we have also started to see a little bit of a plateau on this kind of 50-week moving average, although it is still pending downwards, and the 200 um, week moving average is also kind of still starting to go back up, accelerating upwards, which is a good sign as well. On the RSI, we can see we've got a little bit of a dip here, and that was from mainly from last week's trade or last week's price action. But we built, we had this base kind of here, and we broke out, and now we are looking potentially to test the upper, you know, that over that overbought region. So now where we see the actual trade setup coming, we'll have a look at this daily chart. And I'm not sure if you guys can see it yet, but the key aspect of this chart that is showing us a potential trade is this. This is a really important thing, and we call this the golden cross in trading, where we have a short-term moving average overtake the long-term moving average. And here it's the 50-day taking over that 200-day moving average. If we have a look at the last few times it's happened, we've had it happen here. Um, here, um, over here we had it, and also over here. So what tends to happen is after this crossover, we tend we it's often that we see quite strong and aggressive moves to the upside. So what we would be what we'd be looking for is a potential breakout of this fourteen thousand five hundred ninety three, or let's just round it up to fifteen thousand point region. And a potential break over here on this, you know, that potential move upward. We are sitting at a pretty overbought region over here, but we found some support on the RSI just over here. So potentially a breakout of the RSI may indicate as well a pretty solid significant breakout. And just looking at the candlesticks, there is a little bit of a concern that we are at a double top here. You know, we've got potentially a head and shoulder uh, uh, um, tops here, neckline. So what we are looking for is a potential move here and then a breakout. If not, this may actually fail, come back down and, you know, potentially a, a move to the short side. But look, this these golden crosses don't come around very often and they tend to be pretty good predictors of moves to the upside. So we are just waiting to see a breakout in line with this um, golden cross. But there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Good luck trading.